Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our academic advisement night. Uh, my name is Andrew Selig. I'm the director of admissions at Northwest Catholic. We're joined by our associate director of admissions, Cindy Fusco, our principal, Christopher Stuck, and our director of school counseling, Heather Alex. So um, Mr. Stuck and Mrs. Alex are going to discuss your freshman year course offerings while also giving you a glimpse of your next you know, four year academic journey at Northwest. Uh, but before we get started, I do just have a couple of housekeeping items I'd like to go over with all of you. Uh, first, microphones are muted, so if you have any questions, please type them into the chat. Uh, Mrs. Fusco and I will be monitoring them, and if you probably just heard us talking, uh, we may interrupt them. We may wait until the end to uh, do a, a question and answer. Uh, two, we, we do hope that you'll consider joining us in person. We have some tours coming up. Tomorrow's event is actually full. But we have a few spots left on March 20th for in-person tours. And then we have our Experience Northwest Catholic event taking place on March 27th. It's a Saturday morning for the students. Uh, and we do have limited capacity for both of those. So again, please get those registrations in soon. Uh, for those of you who applied for financial aid, uh, those decision letters are being sent out tomorrow. And lastly, uh, we are still finalizing our transportation options for next year. I know some of you completed a survey for us. Uh, we are still ironing that out and we hope to have some answers for you uh, in the next few weeks. Um, and lastly, uh, just a reminder that our registration deadline is April 1st. So uh, you can register for next year by going to northwestcatholic.org slash registration. I will put that in the chat just so you all have that link. Uh, if you apply for financial aid, we do, you know, please wait until you get your decision letter before you make that decision. But um, just a reminder that that is due by April 1st. Uh, so thanks again for tuning in. At this point, I am going to turn it over to Mr. Stuck and Mrs. Alex. All right. Well, welcome, everybody. It's so good to see all of your smiling faces and, and welcome you into Northwest Catholic. Um, <clears throat> you know, tonight is is an academic orientation just to get everybody familiar with the academic program at Northwest and what you can expect. Um, for a schedule for freshman year and then a little uh, preview of the um, academics moving forward for a four year plan. But before we get started, you know, we are a Catholic school and, and we take that very seriously. We're Catholic first and foremost. So I'd like to start this evening with a prayer and this is a prayer for hope and for peace. So in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> Heavenly Father, I am your humble servant. I come before you today in need of hope. I need hope for a calm and joyful future. I need hope for love and kindness. I pray for peace and safety. Some say that the sky is at its darkest just before the light. I pray that this is true for today seems stormy and dim. I need your light, Lord, in every way. I pray to be filled with your light. Help me walk in your light and live my life in faith and service. In your name I pray, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I choose that prayer because it's been <clears throat> a difficult year, I think, for students, and for teachers, and for um, faculty and staff in all schools, and, and for parents as well, because we've been navigating this uh, coronavirus pandemic uh, for the last calendar year. And I, I, I take my hat off to our students, um, not just our students at Northwest, but your students at the middle schools, um, because they've worked hard and they've overcome a lot of adversity. And so that is something that should be um, applauded. And, um, you know, I don't know how, how this could have happened if it would have happened back when I was in high school. We didn't have this technology where we can do remote learning uh, when when the time comes for remote learning. Um, I feel very good about um, Northwest Catholic because we have weathered this storm, I feel really well. Um, you know, a year ago, I, you know, we were just talking before our presentation started about, you know, it's been a calendar year since we went fully virtual and Northwest Catholic never missed a day. Uh, we had a plan in place right from the get go and didn't miss a day of instruction. And we came back to school in uh, September with a plan and um, we followed those guidelines. And I'm very pleased to say that we've had zero cases of transmission within our school building. 
all of the cases that uh, we have had at Northwest Catholic of COVID-19 have been uh, community transmitted. So I feel really good about that. I feel good about the the numbers that we've had. I feel good that we've been able to um, mitigate against the coronavirus and keep our students and our teachers very safe. So a little bit of an introduction to um, this evening's presentation. We have a lot of hope and that's why I chose the prayer that I did because we have hope moving towards the future. Um, that we're going to have a great um, and successful school year for your students in 21-22. So without any further um, waiting, we'll get started with, with our presentation. And first, I'd like to talk about what we call our academic team at Northwest. And I take a lot of pride in, in these folks. They do a lot of great work, a lot of hard work. And, um, you know, we we meet weekly um, to discuss our students, to discuss any issues that they might have. And we talk about all of our students. We, we talk about our students who need a little bit of encouragement, a little bit of extra help. But we talk about our students who um, you know, are, are doing well. And we talk about our students who are high achievers. And so you know, it's important to note that when you come to Northwest Catholic, you're getting a team of professionals in education who who are geared towards assisting students navigating um, their social emotional learning, um, their in the classroom learning, and also planning for their future. And, and at Northwest, we have a great track record of placing students into colleges. And so um, I'd like to introduce Heather Alex, who is our Director of School Counseling, and she's going to be assisting me tonight and talking about our curriculum but also in the office with her is uh, mrs kelly morrison school counselor and mary Jo foreign who some of you already know um, if you've had students come through northwest catholic in the past um, myself as the principal my first year uh, as principal of northwest catholic and my partner um, jennifer Montney. Um, my assistant Katie Rose and Michael Tyler is our school social worker. He helps with our students who, you know, might need someone to talk to during the day if they're having a hard day or feeling a little bit of test taking anxiety or a little school avoidance. Um, Mr. Tyler is a fantastic resource for for students and parents alike and also on our academic team and, and somebody who should be applauded for the work that she's done throughout this uh, coronavirus pandemic, uh, Mrs. Beth Bornstein, who is our school nurse. Just an outstanding resource for all of us, um, including you. So that's the academic team. I'm going to turn this over to uh, Mrs. Alex for the next slide, which is the school counseling department. All right, thank you, Mr. Stuck. Um, so yes, welcome everyone and on behalf of the school counseling department, we are so excited to work with you and your rising ninth graders next year. Um, as you heard, Mrs. Morrison, Mrs. Foran and myself are the three school counselors. We work very closely with Mr. Tyler, our school social worker, and you'll be assigned a school counselor at the um, onset of freshman year and then that will be the counselor for the four years and so what's really nice about that is that we get to know your child um, there's really no question about who you see if you're at the end of the alphabet you know you have mrs alex if you're at the beginning of the alphabet you know you have mrs morrison and if you're somewhere in the middle then you have <laughs> mrs foreign and um, you know, like Mr. Stuck said, we're really here for just about anything. We're here, we'll help with your academic advising over the four years. We have a college and career curriculum that we follow starting in ninth grade all the way up through 12th grade and a social emotional component where we're always monitoring the overall, overall well-being of the students in the building. And as Mr. Stuck said, we collaborate to make sure that students are feeling supported in school. Um, so we do really partner with parents quite a bit as well. So if you ever have a question, we're a great office for you to call. And if we don't have the answer for you, then we'll find the answer for you. Um, we meet individually with students at least once per year. We'll see them in the classroom setting uh, for lessons. Uh, with all this great technology now, we'll chat on Teams. They can email us. You can give us a call whenever you need to contact us. There are multiple ways of doing so. And so again, um, thanks for coming this evening and we really look forward to getting to know all of you. 
All right, so I wanted to talk first about a, a typical freshman class schedule and um, you know, of course, you know, things are different according to your child's own personal um, desires and interests and needs. But typically when you come to Northwest Catholic, you will have an English class, um, a math class, a science class, and for the freshmen it is biology. Um, human geography is currently our social studies class um, that freshmen take, then religion one, and we teach for the freshmen, it's Old Testament and New Testament. Um, world language, and we'll talk more about the choices there here in a few moments. And also a fine art class, or some students like to get their PE credit out of the way. Um, it's important to note that if you play a sport, at Northwest Catholic, we do give you credit for each season that you play. And so um, a lot of students at Northwest don't take PE their freshman year. They actually uh, will play a varsity sport. Um, and so it's important to note that that the PE requirement can be earned at our school that way. This is Alex. Yes, and so moving right along, we thought that with respect to ninth grade math, that we would take an extra moment to explain the various courses available to ninth graders at Northwest Catholic. Um, certainly Algebra 1 is an option and there are three levels of Algebra 1. So we have level 3, which is still a college prep level, but does go at a bit of a slower pace so that students are sure to have their questions answered before moving on. College prep algebra level is our standard algebra level class, um, which is exactly what it is. It prepares students well for other college prep classes in the math curriculum. The honors algebra one class is a bit more rigorous, more homework, a little more independent learning and um, inquiry at home. And then of course there's also geometry. If your student has already completed algebra one coming into high school, then we have the college prep and honors geometry. So we'll be talking a little bit more about course placement later on this evening and how we determine those those placements. All right, so I did mention that we talk more about world language and so at uh, Northwest Catholic we accept uh, Spanish. We have Spanish class, we have French, we have Latin and we have Chinese. Now um, your students probably have been enrolled in a world language class at their middle school for some time and depending on what district you come from uh, the number of years could be different um, some students start a world language in fifth or sixth grade and they stick with that world language all the way through high school um, some districts start students in a world language in seventh grade and, and unfortunately some districts have have cut it and so you may be taking your first year of world language at Northwest Catholic, but um, we're very proud of, of these options. Uh, Spanish and French obviously are romance languages. Latin um, is also a very important class to take if you're interested in the Catholic intellectual tradition, which, which I certainly am. Um, having been classically educated at uh, University of St. Thomas, um, I, I really enjoy uh, learning Latin. I don't speak it, I don't read it, but I, I like learning about the language because, you know, if you want to be a doctor or a lawyer or a priest or a nun scholar of, of some sort, then you really need to understand Latin and, and how so many of our root words come from Latin. And then also Chinese and, and you know, I think we have a really great Chinese program. It's a growing program. I've watched it grow in the four years that I've been at Northwest Catholic and and more and more students seem to be attracted to learning Chinese. And it and Chinese really complements the fact that we have a very successful international program where um, the majority of the students who come to us from uh, through the international program come to us from China and I get a real kick out of walking down the hallways and seeing our Northwest uh, students um, who have been stateside for their entire lives uh, interacting with our Northwest students who may have just arrived from China and and they may know uh, the language and interact with them in that way and it makes our international students feel comfortable and we have a fantastic uh, Chinese teacher 
um, who really makes all of our students feel so welcome, um, both internationally and, and stateside. Um, she does a lot of great work with our kids. So those are the world language options. We do have a placement test that our students take in June that determines what level of placement for them. Okay, so that's a nice segue here into placement tests. Um, so as Mr. Stuck just said, in June, we will be offering placement tests. They are offered in the subjects of math, world languages of course and English so we will be working with you in terms of whether you feel that you need to um, accelerate in a class if you're looking for a higher level class a placement test oftentimes is the way to determine whether we recommend going for something such as an honors level class and certainly Mr. Stuck if I'm forgetting something you can feel free to jump in but these will be virtual and more information will be coming about taking these in June should you feel interested in taking a placement test in any of those areas um, in, in the world languages that would be if you were to try to take a level higher than level one in any of the, the languages and then with regard to math and English that would be if you were interested in being placed into a higher level of math or an honors English Sure, and I would just add to that that because of um, COVID-19, Northwest Catholic, as you all know, did opt to go um, test optional for placement as far as the high school placement test or the SSAT or the IC test. And so we did admit students based on their academic record this year, but not based on a placement test score through any of those organizations I mentioned. So it is very important for students who would like to test into a higher level of a subject to take a placement test um, because otherwise you will be placed into the first year um, of say for example English you'd be placed into the standard unless you take that placement test. Um, same thing with a world language or um, science class you know if you're going to be taking biology with us um, we'll use the uh, scores you earn on the math and english tests in order to determine your placement in honors or not so just please keep that in the back of your mind um, these placement tests are even more important this year because we did not do the hspt at northwest um, i wanted to talk about a process we have that's called a bypass which is to change from a college prep class to honors. So say that you get your schedule this summer and you really wanted to be in, for example, honors algebra one, and you took our placement test and we placed you in college preparatory algebra one, but you would really like to push yourself a little bit harder and you feel like you're up to the challenge. We actually applaud that at Northwest Catholic. We don't frown on students who would like to spread their wings a little bit and push themselves. So we do have a way for you to bypass the school's recommendation. Um, so we have a bypass form that's available from the admissions office and also the school counseling office. Um, you can use that form to move from a college prep level class to an honors level class. What you cannot use that form for is to skip a prerequisite level class or a graduation requirement. For example, every freshman takes biology at Northwest and that is non-negotiable. So your options are biology or honors biology. You cannot use a bypass form to jump into chemistry uh, at Northwest Catholic. Um, that is the track that you follow. And leveling, you, basically this last bullet point is to tell you that you should take great care in deciding if you're going to move up to an honors class or not using the bypass method because leveling back down is subject to uh, availability and so if you've moved up to honors say in July when you receive your schedule you call Mrs. Alex and you say I'd like to be in honors algebra one and we place you in there and now it's mid-September and you think uh oh the schools may be right I should be in regular if that class has filled um, you may not be able to level back down. So you may have to be stuck in that honors class for the rest of the year. So please take great care in considering 
uh, what level class you'd like to be in um, and make sure that you have a conversation with your school counselor uh, before moving up to an honors level class. OK, yes, and then also along the lines of the beginning of next school year, there is an ad drop period the first 10 school days of the year. Schedule changes can be made by contacting your school counselor. Of course, there's limited ads and drops that can be made when we're talking about graduation requirements. For example, we can't drop English. You need four credits of English to graduate. But if we're talking about dropping um, you know, levels, if you're talking about adjusting a level or you've started your art class and you really feel like um, maybe you should have picked a music, you miss playing your trumpet, <laughs> then we can see if that fits in. Um, so certainly there is an ad drop period if for some reason we need to make any slight adjustments to schedules those first two weeks of school. Absolutely. So these are the grad. Oh, this didn't translate well to PowerPoint, did it? <laughs> But these are the uh, graduation requirements in Northwest. We have a, a minimum graduation requirement of 26, and um, that consists of four um, years, four credits, four years of English, four credits of religion, um, four credits of math, four credits of social studies, three credits of science, at least two years in a world language, although we do recommend three for college placements, one full credit of fine art, a half credit of health, a full credit of physical education, and again, you can take your PE through playing a varsity sport. Um, there's a computer class um, that's half a credit, and it's actually um, a technology class now that the name has changed to um, integrated technology. Um, and the rest of the uh, requirements would be elective. Now, um, that being said, um, there are some courses in development right now from the Archdiocese of Hartford. And so um, some of these requirements for graduation may change and uh, that's OK. That happens from time to time in high schools. And so um, we're going to be uh, paying attention to the directives that come from the state and from the archdiocese as far as graduation requirements, and we will update these requirements as necessary. OK. So here's the four year planning slide. This is Alex. OK, so um, to start off again with the math area, when we're thinking about four years with regards to math, uh, we do require that a student takes math freshman through senior year with a minimum of completing algebra, geometry, and algebra two. Um, there are several classes that you can take beyond algebra two, such as pre-calc and trigonometry, calculus, AP calculus, AP statistics, finite math, um, standard probability and statistics there are other computer courses okay so there are a lot of great options for planning out the next four years honors are available for freshmen again based on those placement test scores and again honors and ap courses will continue to become available um, ap courses stand for advanced placement those are courses that are mostly for juniors and seniors. They're college level courses that are taught at the high school level, and you'll learn more about those as time goes on. Um, they're not for everyone right away, but some people are curious to know if that's an offering, and we do have that at Northwest Catholic. Absolutely, and and for your four year planning interests, um, I know that Mr. Seelig did send home some curriculum maps for everyone to look at, and so um, this is presented in words, but if you're a visual learner, uh, we do have curricula maps that we've created that you can look at that show the progression on the different tracks. And, you know, also I want to point out as we're talking about four year planning at Northwest Catholic, you are not married to a particular track at any given time. We do allow for students to move from honors to uh, standard and AP to standard. 
or even to level three based on their comfort level. So you do not have to be an all honors student. You do not have to be an all AP student. You don't have to be all standard at Northwest. We do allow you to move um, from track to track um, depending on how your um, career goes. So I wanted to talk to you about science. Um, three years are required and that includes biology, which is a life science and then a physical science. We also recommend physics for our students, um, especially those students who might be interested in going into an engineering or STEM field. Um, possible paths include biology, integrated physics and chemistry, chemistry or an elective. Um, the IPC class that I mentioned is not quite offered yet, but it is a course in development. And so if that becomes available to you, we will certainly let you know um, as soon as we have approved it. Um, also, there's biology, chemistry, physics and elective. And then for the honors students, there's honors biology, honors chemistry, and then honors or AP physics. We also have AP biology, AP chemistry, AP physics. We have a class called honors anatomy and physiology that's very popular at Northwest. We have a lot of students who are interested in the medical health field at Northwest. We also have astronomy, oceanography and human body systems, which is a more standard version of the honors anatomy class. Very similar content, but again, um, it, it runs for half a year and at a slower pace than the honors level class. So that's the science. We also have world language, and then I mentioned that um, Spanish, Latin, French, and Chinese, two years are required, three are recommended. And for the most competitive schools out there, the colleges, and I'm talking your very most highly competitive schools, four years are recommended, okay? Um, but we have a great program in, in these uh, classes, and so I think you'll be on a path that you like. Um, also wanted to talk about our um, fine arts program. We have um, visual arts, we have art, we have crafts, and, and that can take you into uh, multiple levels, including an AP studio arts class, a photography class. We also have, um, um, I'm sorry, uh, um, digital photography. So they do um, their photos and then editing in the software after. We also have a theater arts class where students learn about um, acting, but stage production, um, direction, lighting, um, all of um, aspects of running a production. We also have various bands um, and we have various choirs as well. So, you know, as you're planning your four years, if you're a student who likes the fine arts and we love the fine arts at Northwest Catholic, uh, please talk to your counselor about what options are available to freshmen. Um, and we also have um, little information on freshman course selections and i believe is this your slide heather is this still mine yes i'm happy to happy to jump in i think I, right. I think we did yeah. so um families you have been given a course selection form to request courses for ninth grade you have the curriculum maps that Mr. Stuck referred to and a digital copy of our curriculum guide. So those are your resources to make your course selections on an electronic fillable form. Those will be due April 1st. And the freshman course selection form, again, is a request. So um, we do have to still build the master schedule and we will accommodate your requests to the absolute best of our ability, your child's interests and course rigor is definitely of you know, important, utmost important importance to us. Sometimes we run into little scheduling things and we will contact you if we do. So that's why we do say that they are requests. Um, the final schedules, once things are all tweaked, will be mailed home during the summer so that your sons and daughters are ready to go at the end of August. So uh, please be sure that if you have additional questions about this course selection or any ins and outs of the actual courses that you 
contact admissions or we are going to open up some time slots those last three days of March there, March 29th through 31st. And counselors, school counselors, Mrs. Foran, Mrs. Morrison and I will be available if you have questions and would like to talk to a school counselor about it. I wanted to talk about uh, summer reading and textbooks. Um, we do have summer reading at Northwest. Now, last summer because of COVID-19 and the amount of screen time that our students had, we pared that down a little bit. We have not made a decision on, on the amount of summer reading yet for um, our incoming freshmen, but we are sensitive to the fact that our students have spent a lot of time on screens uh, throughout this academic year. So that will play a part in, in what we decide to assign for uh, summer prep work. Um, we do have a parent portal that um, most of our information will be posted on. That's at northwestcatholic.org and you do not have to already have a login for our parent portal to access that information, but also for ease, Mr. Selig has, I think, very generously and thoughtfully created an accepted students web page that he will send out to all of you. That is also a landing page that will have um, a lot of our ass assignments and news posted on there for, for you guys. Um, those will be posted in June. We do have textbooks and at Northwest Catholic, we are an iPad school. Every single student who comes to Northwest will receive an iPad from the school. And that um, iPad is um, controlled by the school. So we are able to push um, academic applications out to those iPads. We're also able to push textbooks out to those iPads and we are partnered with Barnes and Noble. So we have a virtual bookstore that will go live in July and you'll be able to use your um, your provisional schedules to guide your textbook um, purchasing. And um, it's a really simple process. So you just go on there and you click on the books or you click on the classes that you're enrolled in and you'll see a list of textbooks that pop up and you just click and it's it's a pretty simple process. Barnes and Noble provides us with 24-7 um, customer service. So if you have a hard time purchasing a book, you don't need to call Northwest Catholic. Um, you would call their 1-800 number and get support 24-7. Uh, that bookstore opens in mid-July and that's to give them time to stock enough inventory for all of our students. So I know some of you might want to uh, hit the ground running here. You've gotten accepted and you know what classes you'd like to take. So you want to go out and buy the books, but unfortunately um, it does take time for um, the warehouse to stock the books for all 450 of our students. And so um, we, we do open that in mid-July for you. Um, and I wanted to say for those um, families that um, have financial need, there are a limited number of textbook scholarships that are available. So um, as you're navigating that process this summer, if you feel that um, you are in need of a textbook scholarship, uh, Barnes & Noble does make those vouchers available to us. You would just need to let um, Mr. Seelig or Mrs. Fusco or, or Mrs. Alex or me let one of us know and we'll be able to um, to do our best to get you one of those vouchers. And finally, I'd like to talk about our our first year experience, our FYE experience. Um, that's something that I'm very proud of. And, you know, of course, it's a it's a work in progress. But, you know, this is a concept that has come with me from my university days. I got my start working at a Catholic university and my wife got her start working at a Catholic university and we were both very much um, enmeshed in the first year experience program at that university. And so at the previous high school I worked at, we started a similar um, FYE program and at Northwest Catholic, it's kind of taken on its own, um, its own thing, its own experience. And so we do have our freshman orientation that's in August and that is run by our link crew and they are a group of upperclassmen mentors that are assigned to your student in small groups so it's a much more intimate kind of group but really what it's designed to do is um, to orient our students to life in high school not just academically 
um, but also socially, emotionally, and um, to create a positive experience, a welcoming experience where you know, we want to have a, an atmosphere at Northwest where students treat each other with respect and understand the rules and respect the rules, respect the building and each other. And so we, we like to start out in a very positive note with our freshman orientation, but the orientation to Northwest does not end in August. Um, orientation happens throughout the freshman year, and so they will meet with their link crew leaders throughout the entire freshman year. Um, right now it's been on a monthly basis. They meet with their mentors and they do activities. Um, it's been a little bit um, difficult because of the COVID uh, regulations that we've followed, but um, we're, we're hoping to return to some amount of um, normalcy for the next academic year. And so um, we envision Link Crew um, cons you know, um, continuing their programming with our incoming freshmen. And then also along with um, the Link Crew is our LEADS program. And, and that is a leadership development program that every freshman at Northwest Catholic takes. Leadership is part of our um, charism. And so we we um, feel that leadership is a very important aspect of being a Northwest Catholic graduate. And so we we get students started in the LEADS program and that um, is a, a seminar that is taught during advisory period by one of our religion teachers, Mr. Haddad, who some of you might know either through um, St. Thomas Parish or through um, He's also been involved with the um, Retreat Center, Holy Family. So um, some of you might already know him, but he's a he's a good, uh, fun guy, good good teacher at the school, and has a lot of very interesting topics to teach our students um, about leadership and about life and um, the faith. And so um, we try to have a robust first year experience for our students to make them feel welcome and to give them the tools that they need to succeed. All right. So at this point, I think we'd like to open it up to any questions that people might have put into the chat. Mr. Absolutely. Sleek. We do have a couple of questions. I'm going to go ahead and answer them real quick. Um, okay. I'll get started. Mr. Suck, while I'm doing that, would you want to pull up that form uh, just to show people uh, what it looks like when they're actually going through and selecting the classes? I believe uh, you had it on your PowerPoint, you know, the second to last slide or third to last slide. Uh, but the first one is, um, will St. Timothy Middle School students take placement tests in June at St. Timothy Middle School? So in the past, our uh, students who were coming from other Catholic schools would take their uh, math placement test at their middle school. Um, they are still discussing that with the teachers. So as we figure out you know, where students will take the placement tests, we will let you know. Uh, last year, we did do everything virtually, um, so uh, that is still up for discussion with um, with those middle schools. So we will let you know as um, those placement test signups come out, you know, where you should be taking each test. Um, if your child is recommended by their teacher for honors, are they still required to take the placement test? Yes, so we are going to have every student take a, a placement test if they would like to go into honors, um, you know, Mr. Stuck then talked, let's say your child did place into a college prep English class, but their teacher was recommending honors. You know, that is where that bypass form would come into play that Mr. Stuck was talking about. Uh, you would have uh, that option. Um, the 2021-22 calendar is not available yet. That will most likely, Mr. Stuck, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm thinking, um, end of April or beginning of May will we'll be closer to when that would start getting ready. Well, I can tell you that Mrs. Montney has already submitted um, the first copy to Father Dolan. And so I think at this point we're just waiting on approval and then that should be published. Great, great. No. Um, oh, we will be sending out links um, later this week with uh, to schedule an appointment with the counselors. So uh, please check your email as a follow up to this. Uh, later in the week, you will get that email. Um, can you take a fine arts and a sports elective? You can definitely take a, a fine arts class as an elective your freshman year, and then sports would take place after school. Um, Mr. Stuck, 
could a student do PE and the fine art or would that be a little? Yeah, tough? I mean, um, typically a freshman student takes seven classes. It's not unheard of for some students to take eight classes. Um, high achieving students don't like a study hall sometimes. And so if, if your student feels that they do not need a study hall in their day, um, it's absolutely possible to try to take eight classes. Um, but our schedule this year um, in, in our current academic year is a four by four block. And again, that's um, that's because of the coronavirus pandemic um, to limit the exposures. And so we've we've changed our schedule for this year and we'll likely be on a similar schedule next year. So just so everyone knows if they choose to take eight classes, they'll be in uh, class uh, all four periods each day. So that's that's an important thing to note in making your decision on how many classes to take. Um, how will placement be made for freshman social studies classes? So if they're recommended for honors, is there a placement test? So yes, yeah, similar to um, you know biology, where we're going to use that English placement and math placement test. Uh, for social studies, uh, Mr. Stuck and, and Mrs. Alex will use that English placement test. Um, so if you sign up for honors, um, honors social studies through this course selection here, uh, we would let you know that we need you to take that um, that placement test, that English placement test. Uh, Mr. Stuck, I'll let you take this next one, but I'll read it sure. to you. I, if a student moves up to Spanish three, uh, then takes Spanish four sophomore year, do you have options for Spanish in junior and senior years? Right now, we only go up to AP Spanish five. We do not have any classes after the fifth year of Spanish at Northwest. Um, can you take two languages such as Spanish and Latin? It's been done. Yep. Um, you know, let's have a conversation about that because sometimes what happens is some classes meet at the same time. And so, you know, world language classes like Latin um, may only meet once in a schedule. Um, because they tend to be smaller classes. So if they conflict with something else your student needs, it may not be possible. But generally speaking, if they don't conflict with each other or another class your student's taking, then it's possible, yes. Right, and let me, uh, I'll clarify this too, I apologize. So you will be filling out this um, course selection um, uh, form now, and that's due April 1st. And so that'll let us know what your child would like to take, that they would like to take honors English, they would like to take college prep social studies, and that will then let us know which placement tests we need to have them take. And those placement tests will be um, given in June, and then you'll receive your schedule uh, in the during the summer. Hope that helps. Sorry, I lost where I was. Um, is there a gym? And if so, are we allowed? Is there a gym? And if so, yeah. are we allowed to use it? Yep, there is a gym. Um, it depends on you know what activities are happening after school that day, but there is a fitness center after, open after school. Um, that's open pretty much every day until till four. It's again tough a little bit with COVID right now, but in a normal year, it's open every day after school. Anyone can go can go in there. Um, Mr. Stuck, how are study hall structured, size, teacher support, etc. Sure, so we have two options. We have um, kind of a general study hall and that meets in our cafeteria every day and there are multiple teachers who um, are in there at one time. And we also have something that's a little bit more structured and that's called academic support. And so some students opt to take that because they like the quiet one-on-one um, -on -one environment. And so that happens in a classroom with um, a a teacher who can answer questions about homework and give a little bit more of a directed um, experience for those students. And, you know, sometimes I just want to say this, there's a stigma attached to the academic support uh, class that is actually unwarranted. Um, anyone can take the academic support class. Um, if they'd like it instead in lieu of a study hall. So it's not just for students who need tutoring. Um, I think some some kids feel like there is a stigma attached to that and there's really not. So if, if you like a quiet environment, uh, we do have the academic support 
And then the third um, option is the library where students can get a pass out of the cafeteria and go to the library for some silent study as well. Great, and um, that kind of covers the tutoring question, but also Mrs. Alex, would you want to just jump in and talk about the uh, National Honor Society tutoring? Absolutely, yes. So in addition to the academic support class and students being able to work with teachers before and after school and during free periods, we also have the National Honor Society peer tutors who are ready and willing to support with any subject area. We have a very nice system in place where a student can fill out a form if they feel that they would like to work with a peer tutor for any number of periods during the week and that's to, arranged in the school counseling office. We've had a lot of great success with the program where students feel very supported not only by their teachers but also with the additional help of working with a peer. Sometimes it's nice to hear something explained in um, adolescent terms, right? <laughs> when you feel like you need a little bit of an extra boost. So we do have that program available. It's working out great. Great. Um, if the course selection form isn't filled out, uh, Mrs. Fusco and I will be probably emailing you trying to figure it out um, to make sure we get all those course selections in for you. Um, that way we can help you pick out your classes. Um, Transportation, we hope to have some more information on that in the next few weeks. We're still kind of ironing everything out. We've been using the surveys to try to figure out what you know is uh, doable for our community. Um, school day ends at 2.10 p.m. Um, if you play a sport, those typically begin around 2.30. Um, and it's typically every day after school. Is that correct, Mr. Stuck? Right? Yep. That's pretty much every day. Um, the course selection form was emailed to you in the um, email with the invite. So if you scroll down to the bottom, uh, you will see the link to the uh, uh, the program of studies, uh, the course offerings for this year. You'll see the link for this course selection form that Mr. Stuck has on the screen now, as well as the um, as well as the uh, course progression maps. And you can kind of see he's scrolling through. So you just fill out your information and let us know which classes you would like to take and that will help us uh, determine which placement tests we have to give you. Um, the uh, placement tests are going to be most likely will be administered online using a, a online tool. Um, so we would send that out to you and the students could take that um, at home. Um, can you repeat you said about moving up to college prep if it's too easy or moving down to honors if it's too hard. Mr. Stuck, can you take that one? Just yeah. again about moving up and down between um, sure. college and honors. Absolutely. So um, to, to kind of reiterate uh, the slide on um, the bypass form, if you would like to be in, say, Honors English 1 and you take the placement test and our um, department chair scores the test and feels that college prep English is the better class for you, then that's the class that we will place you in. But if you choose um, to push yourself and be in, in the honors class, and we we don't actually have a problem with that, we just want you to sign the bypass form, and, and that acknowledges that um, you understand that this class is going to be a little bit more difficult than the class that we've initially recommended to you, and that you may not necessarily earn a grade of an A or even a B, then you'd sign off on that form and we would we would save a copy of that form in your file and um, that gives us um, the ability to move you up into the honors English class or it could be honors math class um, depends on what you'd like now um, if you are in that honors class after you've bypassed up into that and you feel that that class is too difficult it's very important that you have that conversation very early with your counselor so we can try to move you down. Um, we do have a strict um, classroom cap size. Uh, again, this was put into place because of the coronavirus. Um, there's very strict um, rules on how far apart students can be. And so we've had to cap our classes at 24, which means that um, throughout this pandemic, our classes have filled up um, pretty fast. And, you know, and so it's created kind of a different culture than what students at Northwest Catholic have been used to. 
um, where it has become more difficult to change a schedule. And while um, adults are currently being vaccinated and some of the CDC guidelines are loosening up for adults, we do not have any clear guidance from either the federal government or the state government on what our student um, body is going to be able to do in the fall. And so as of this moment in time on, on March the 10th, 2021, we're probably planning on having some of those um, restrictions for students in place still uh, in the school. And so that would, at this moment in time, continue that cap of 24. So it's very important to note that um, once you're up in that honors level class, that college prep level class may no longer be available to you because of the cap that we've had to put on. So, um, you know, please consider your course selections carefully because I, I, I really truly feel as somebody who's been doing academic advising for the last 20 years, um, proper placement is a key element in student success. And so I very desperately want your students to be placed in the correct level class. So, um, you know, consider the selections carefully because I don't want them to be stuck in a class that may not be, um, that they may not be successful in. Now, that being said, if Northwest Catholic places your student in an honors level class, there's no problem in leveling down to a college prep. If you get in for a few days or a week and you feel that um, it's, it's not the right fit, that's a conversation to have with your school counselor and we'll do our best to make that change. But as I said, um, schedule changes have been more difficult this year because we've had to follow some strict um, rules as far as uh, classroom sizes. So, um, you know, parents have asked me, hey, the cap is 24, my kid would be the 25th, just make it happen. And I, I just apologize in advance, but I can't. I have to follow the law and I gotta follow the guidelines and the rules. So, um, we've had to be more strict about the schedule changes. Um, that being said, um, you know, I, I mentioned on our very first slide, we have an academic team that reviews students every single week. If um, your school counselor feels that your student would be more successful in another class, they will let you know, and the school can initiate a schedule change at the quarter. And so say Mrs. Alex and I are reviewing um, a particular student and we feel that, um, you know, they would they would be placed better in a level three math or a level two math, then we would make that recommendation to the parent. We would we would first do our homework to make sure that there's space available before suggesting that change. Thanks, Mr. Stuck. Um, the school day begins at 750. Um, and the library is open before and after school. So the library opens up at, um, I believe, 730 in the morning and it is open until 4 p.m. So students are definitely able to come in early um, and go to the library or stay after school if they're not involved in, in a sport or a club and stay there until 4. Mr. Haddad, uh, can students wear NWC sports sweatshirts over or instead of their uniform? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, hold on a second. Mr. Haddad in here? Mr. Her dad is in here, yes. Oh, he didn't hear me say all that nice stuff about him before, did he? <laughs> I think he may have. <laughs> oh, um, <no. laughs> I, and Mr. Stuck, correct me if I am wrong, but uh, Fridays are spirit days at Northwest right. Catholic. Um, yeah. and so every Friday, uh, students are allowed to, you know, they, they wear their uniform bottom, but then they can wear any sort of like Northwest Catholic sweatshirt or um, spirit wear uh, for the, the top half of their uniform on that day. Um, if a student plays a sport, does it mean they do not have regular PE? Correct. Yes. Um, you know, if a student is playing a sport, we wouldn't recommend them to take PE uh, because we do want them to have that time during the day to either take a different elective or to have that study hall uh, where they can get some work done because they're going to be staying after school late uh, playing their sport. Um, students do try out for sports uh, each season. That being said, each season has a no cut sport. So in the fall, that's cross country. In the winter, that's indoor track and it's outdoor track in the spring. And there is a little grace period. So if a student tries out for soccer and they didn't make the team, there's about a week or so for them to then join uh, that cross country team. Uh, so there's always something for a student to do uh, each, each season. Can the uniform be purchased elsewhere? 
or anywhere else from Land's End. Uh, for the most part, we recommend um, purchasing the uniform from Land's End. And again, I know Mr. Stuck talked about the accepted students page on the website. Uh, in the next month or so, we're going to be updating that quite a bit. There's not much on there right now as far as preparing for next year, but as everything gets finalized, we'll have all that information, uh, uniforms and things like that. And we will have another event, maybe even in person if we're able to, uh, in, in May. Uh, maybe it'll be outdoors um, to actually go over some of this more uh, granular things like uniforms and, and all that thing, those things to get ready for school. Um, can a student take PE? Oh, I lost it. Hold on. Take PE and as well play a sport freshman year, Mr. Sure. Stowe? They can. Yeah. I mean, we're not going to tell them no. Sure. It's okay. it's not. Um, it doesn't happen all that often, but if that's something that your student would like to do, then absolutely sign up for PE. Great. Um, the library is open uh, after school for students to wait uh, for their rides. Uh, we do have Mrs. Kennelly is at the school and she's there until five, so the library closes at four. Uh, the students can wait in the dining hall and up until 5 p.m. Uh, for their, their rides after school. Um, when do fall sports start? They uh, usually begin uh, you know, a week or so before school begins. Um, that being said, with COVID-19 and everything, I'm not even going to... Hopefully that'll be the case, but um, we will let you know as we get closer about fall sports. Um, what time do most sports end after school? Mr. Stuck, do you know generally, that? Generally, they're wrapped up before four o'clock. Um, supervision at our school ends at four o'clock. And so um, for the most part, our practices end at four. If not, then they're with their coach until they either leave on their own or get a ride from, from a parent. Um, what do the uniforms look like? Um, the uh, boys, and actually boys and girls have a, a polo shirt option. Uh, as girls have a khaki skirt, uh, boys have uh, khaki pants. Uh, there is a shirt and tie for the boys on mass days as well as a sports coat. Uh, and the girls will wear a button up blouse and a sweater on mass days and that is once a month. But every other day they can wear that um, polo shirt. There's a black quarter zip, Northwest Catholic quarter zip that the students can wear over their polo shirt. Um, and that's kind of a, a quick rough idea of what the uniforms look like. Uh, the final decision hasn't been submitted for enrolling yet. That's about financial aid, Andrew, if you want to talk briefly about yes. financial aid disbursements. So financial aid, um, you can contact me. I'll be happy to, to talk to you about financial aid. Please send me an email or call me uh, in the office. Um, the You do not need to Jim register um, or enroll until April 1st, so that will not affect your um, your financial aid decision at this time. That being said, if you receive financial aid and you are not registered by April 1st, uh, then that financial aid would then come back to us um, so we could award it to somebody else uh, in need. And I just, you know, kind of as a footnote to that conversation, you know, um, we've had a, a large number of families have expressed some sort of financial um, hardship um this year for obvious reasons and so um we're trying our best to spread our financial aid around but you know it, it is a limited amount of money that we have and so um, we're trying to help as many families as we can with with the money that we have um let's see school begins at 7 50 in the morning so 7 50 in the morning the building is open by 7 a.m um, so if you have to drop off early, that is OK. Um, Mr. Stuck, do we have a good cafeteria? I think so. Um, we are partners with Aramark. And so um, if you've ever been to um, a ball game or um, work in a, a business that uses Aramark as their um, catering company, we have the same quality that you would find there. Um, we're very happy with Aramark. And um, I think students love the actual dining space that we have. We've got brand new tables in our dining hall. Um, it's a very collegiate feeling dining hall. We've got a Pride Cafe, which serves coffee and other types of drinks that um, we're going to have open in the very near future. So I think we've got a, a very good cafeteria. And the students seem to like the food that you can get at Northwest. And there's a lot of um, variety and options there as well. 
And I just wanted to answer Isabella's question here um, about wearing pants. Um, young ladies can opt to wear khaki pants at any time, not just the winter. If, if you're more comfortable in khaki pants, then um, we allow you to do that. Um, tuition payments will begin in July um, and you can, you know, divide them up, you know, into monthly payments, quarterly, you can pay in full, half. Um, you'll be able to set it up in uh, our program that we use, uh, it's called Smart Tuition. So once a child is registered, uh, you fill out that registration form and pay that $400 registration fee. Um, after April 1, we will send you an official tuition contract um, with everything, everything in there that you owe. You'll send it back to us and then you will get enrolled into Smart Tuition uh, so you can begin those payments in July. Um, the earliest drop off um, is uh, I would say 7 p.m. or 7 a.m. is uh, when the building is open and students can go to the dining hall. Um, the library is open by uh, 7, 7.30. Um, we do not have the dates yet for freshman orientation. Uh, typically it's. The last week of August, yeah. The last week of August, right before Labor Day. Um, I will. Uh, I will talk to our athletic director and uh, she runs our spirit store um, and I can get you the link the next time it's open. We will send that out so you can start purchasing your spirit wear. Uh, boys cannot wear shorts. Uh, they, they must wear uh, pants. Um, on occasion, if it's uh, you know a really, really warm day, uh, Mr. Stuck is, is usually pretty nice and he'll let the students know if they can wear wear shorts for that day. They'll let them know ahead of time. Oh, there's no, that's just my day's department. I don't touch that. <laughs> um, if you Did you say sports? Uh, what time sports starts? Someone had asked. Alicia asked. Sports oh. start right at two thirty. Yes, two thirty. Perfect. Um, if we use Smart Now at a Catholic school, does that account stay active? I'll no. be honest with you. I don't know. I don't think so. I think you will start it over for Northwest Catholic. So I, I, from my own personal experience, having a daughter um, who's gone through the Catholic school system, we've had to create a new account for each school that she's gone to. Great. Uh, when does school start? Um, again, that orientation, I don't know if that begins to the actual date, uh, is usually right before Labor Day, that week before Labor Day. Um, the day begins at 7.50 in the morning, but again, you can drop off by about 7 at the earliest. Um, oh, thank you very much. We, we, thank you. We appreciate that it. We love nice it for you. Um, <laughs> how warm do the days have to be to wear shorts? Um, listen, if Mr. Stuck and I are warm, we'll, we'll uh, tell you to wear <laughs> shorts. We'll, uh, we'll make sure you get that. Uh, um, how much is lunch? It's, it is a pay as you go. Um, it's all a la carte, so you can kind of pick out what you want. Parents, you will get um, a student ID, or students will get a student ID. Parents, you can put money on the ID so a student can go in and buy what they want. Even if they bring a lunch and they just want to go and get a thing of fruit or a french fry or whatever it may be, they can go and scan their card. Um, I don't know what the average lunch price is, Mr. Stuck. I actually haven't been down there recently. Yeah, and I think all the, the questions about uniform, um, we do have a page on our school website that talks about the school uniform. Um, right now, as it stands, we do not allow sneakers in a typical school year. We've been a little bit more lenient this year, but typically um, no sneakers. There is a Correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Haddad, type it in there. I believe there's a microwave in campus ministry. Um, so if a student had something that they wanted to heat up, campus ministry is right next to the dining hall. They could go in there. Um, so yes, there are places for students to, uh, awesome. There are places for uh, <laughs> students to heat up their lunch. Um, I am gonna say at this point, just thank you to everybody for coming tonight. We really appreciate it. Uh, if we can be of any help, don't hesitate to reach out to myself or to Cindy. We'll be happy to work with you. We will be sending out links to the counselors. Um, so if you do have questions later in the month, they will be. Um, oops, can't see they, they will be able to meet with you if you have a question. The course selection form you already have in the email that you use to get in here. There is a link to that course selection form. Uh, you can start filling that out now. You don't need to be registered to do that. Um, and no problem, and we'll stay on. If you have any questions, we're happy to stay on, but if mm -hmm. if you're all set, you're welcome to go, and uh, we look forward thank to- Thank you all for coming tonight. So thank you very much.